Hey, beloved, it is your friend and brother, the spiritual architect, Willie Wade. Thank you for joining us for the 12 minute message. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are, what time of day it is, and where you are in the world that you are viewing this. We hope that it will help you and please continue to watch and enjoy and share the 12 minute message. Let's get right into it. Our 12 minute message today comes from two portions of scripture, Acts, the first chapter and the eighth verse, and then Acts, the fifth chapter and the 28th verse. Come on, let's get right into it. Again, reading from the New Jerusalem Bible. <clears throat> but you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit, which will come on you, and then you will be my witnesses, not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed the earth's remotest end. Acts, the fifth chapter, 28th verse. We gave you a strong warning, he said, not to preach in this name. And what have you done? You have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and seemed determined to fix the guilt of this man's death on us. Verse 29, in reply, Peter and the apostles says, obedience to God comes before obedience to men. Amen. Our 12-minute message this morning is living from inside out. Living from the inside out. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world or whatever is in the world. The apostles were faced with a great task. They were faced with a great duty. They were faced with a great commandment. And in contrast, they were faced with great troubles. They were faced with great, they were faced with great detriment. And they were faced with great charges a lot of times. You see, Christ had commanded them. Christ had told them. Christ put something on the inside of them. He put on the inside of them the power of the Holy Spirit. And they were to live, move, act, and breathe according to what God had put on the inside. And so that what was on the inside, when it came out, it would impact the outside world. And that's why Jerusalem was brimming. It was jumping. It was singing the praises of Christ. And outside forces, outside pressure was trying to get them to stop preaching, to stop teaching, to stop doing miracles and trying to get them to stop doing what they had been charged and commanded with Christ to do, by Christ to do, but more importantly, what they now had the skill set and the ability to do. The, the outside world, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the Sanhedrin, wanted them to stop living based on what was on the inside and live based on what they saw outside. And that's the world we live in today. God has put inside of you love, joy, peace, happiness, he has put inside of you wisdom and knowledge and understanding. He has put inside of you so many great things. But the problem is too often, instead of us living inside out, instead of us moving, acting and breathing and behaving and even talking based on the love, the joy, the peace, the hope, the prosperity that God has put on the inside, we let outside forces, we let outside things dictate and determine how we move. We let outside things make, decide if we're going to be happy or sad. We let outside things decide what we're going to wear and how we're going to dress. And we let outside things, outside pressures, outside problem, and outside people determine and dictate where we go, how we get there, how we're going to feel. We let so many things influence us instead of letting the power that God has put on the inside of us empower us. And so, beloved, I'm challenging you today to live from the inside out. That which is in you, that joy, that peace, that hope, that dream, that prosperity, that love that's in you, let it come out and let it impact your Jerusalem, your Judea, and your Samaria. Let it impact your surrounding areas. Let it impact the people with whom you work for, that laugh, that smile, all of those good things that are inside of you. Let those things come out and impact the world around you. You see, we are forced to face each and every day our internal anointing, and it has to come up against external aggravations, 
our internal divine person has to meet every day external detrimental forces. But greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And so you just have to let that which is in you out. Let your joy out. Let your peace out. Let your hopes out. Let your dreams out. Because there is something great in you. There is something that that living from the inside out can impact and change not only your world, but the world of others. Yes, there will be there will be some dangers. Yes, some people might not understand. Yes, some people may even be determined to deter you from living according to your divine duty and the divine spirit that has been placed inside of you. But beloved, I'm here to charge you and to challenge you to live from the inside out. Live up to who and what you are called to be. Live up to who and what you are called to do. Live up to who and what you know you can do. For we declare that you, as well as me, we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. And he strengthens us and he leads us and he guides us from the inside, from inside of our heart, from inside of our mind, from inside of our soul. Paul says we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Let your treasure out. Let your treasure impact the world around you. Let the treasure inside of you put away your troubles, put away your trials, and defeat your tribulations. Let that which is in you impact that which is outside of you. Let that which is in you have a greater saying, a greater force for good than the things outside of you that can be a force for evil. And so, yes, beloved, I'm encouraging you to live from the inside out. This is the disciples did. Because remember, it is better to obey God and God's command and God's love and God's joy and God's peace than it is to obey men. You see, God puts something in us great and mighty. God puts something inside of us that's good and wonderful and pleasant. God puts something inside of us that is priceless inside of both you and me. But the world, outside forces, they want us to keep it on the inside. We sing the song, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Well, I've told you before, it is not to shine so that you can be seen. It is to shine so others can see their way. And look at Jerusalem because they followed their internal principle. They followed and they led with the internal power that they had. And they had an external impact. People were saved, people were healed, people were delivered, and people were singing and shouting the praises of Jesus Christ. And that's what we, church, that's what we, my brothers and sisters, have to get back to, living by what's on the inside, letting the joy, letting the peace, letting the healing, letting the power, letting the words of Christ that dwell on the inside of us come out and have an impact on the world around us our job, our children's home and school, nursing homes, hospitals. In this time of coronavirus, we have to live by what is on the inside. And beloved, there are some great things inside of you. And so I challenge you, I encourage you, live based on the inside. And look at the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the Sanhedrin Council as they are upset. <clears throat> and there will be people who are upset. Not because of the impact of what you have on the inside is having on the outside world, but because they don't have it inside of them and they don't know how to get it inside of them. But if you lead, if you guide, if you teach, if you preach, if you love, if you sing, if you do anything in the name of Christ that is inside of you, it'll impact the people on the outside of you and you can show them how this is a contagion that can carry us forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is a contagion that cleanses us from the external contagions that contaminate us. Amen. Amen. And God bless you. Come on, let me pray for you and with you. God eternal and wise, we thank you. We thank you that you placed inside of us joy and hope and peace and love and power. We thank you that you placed inside of us wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and prosperity. 
we thank you, God, that you placed inside of us unity and, and hopefulness and the ability to get along peaceably with all men and women on the planet. And now, God, let that which is on the inside, let it come out. Let it have an impact. Let it move us. Let it, let it be, Father God, what you would want it to be in us and for us and through us. Let it now, Father God, take hold of our hearts, our lives, our souls, and our minds, that we will be who and what you want us to be as we live from the inside and have an impact on the world outside. In Christ Jesus' name we pray and we thank you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, beloved. Have a great day. And remember, live from the inside out and don't let what's outside contaminate what's inside of you. God bless. Heaven smile.